Okay, to make an egg, the first thing we're going to need to do is to use the tools from the top of the toolbar here to draw our shape. So make sure you're on the Sketch tab to start with, not any of the others. Okay, so change it to Sketch tab, tab and select the Ellipse tool, not the Circle tool, the Ellipse tool that's here. Okay, when we click on the screen, we need to be able to pull the mouse straight down, okay, so that it's actually going at right angles. Don't be tempted to have your line go at a different angle. Try and make sure it's coming straight down the page at right angles. Click it once, and then you're going to pull your mouse out to the side so that you get a rough ellipse shape. Just click again so it knows that you've finished drawing. From over the side here, we need to be very precise. We're going to make sure this is an egg shape, an egg size, okay? Down the bottom right-hand corner of the screen here, you can see that we can check that we are drawing in millimetres rather than drawing in any other tools. So make sure you've done that before you start. An egg is roughly six centimetres high and four centimetres across. So I want you to put 33, 22 in here. That will give us an average size of an egg, which will be six centimetres high and just over four centimetres across. Okay. Once we've done that, we need to close this drawing tool down over here. Next thing I want to do is I want to slice this in half. So we're going to use the line tool from the top of the sketch tab over here. If you hover above your shape, it will show you an indication of where the computer finds the center of your object from. So if you click above your shape and draw right the way through and out the other side, and click twice just to finish drawing. Okay. There we go. There's our line drawing. Okay. I'm going to also, I'm going to close down the line drawing tool now because we've finished drawing our lines for now. The reason I've gone through the object rather than starting to try and draw at the edge is you're never quite sure if it's actually started in the right place. I might have started drawing here, for example. By drawing through the object, you make sure that it is attached at the right edges. Use your scissors tool next. Again, it's on the sketch tab at the top here. And make sure that you're on this trim to closest option. If you're on any of the others, it doesn't quite trim back the way we want it to trim. Slip away until you've got just one half of an ellipse, a bit like a, a penalty shootout area or a terrace chocolate orange slice. Okay, press the trim button there so we know we've finished cutting away and we've got the little tiny section we want to work with. All right, we've got it right. We know there's no gaps, there's no bits left over anywhere. We need to now start making it into 3D. In the top right hand corner here, you press your blue pencil, this little line here, then it knows that you've got it right. If you've gone wrong at any point, press the Red cross and start again, or you can go undo at any time and go backwards. So I'm going to tell the computer we're ready. We now need to turn it from a flat 2D to a 3D shape. Over on the Features tab here, so change it from Sketch to Features, we're going to this time do a Revolve Boss Base, not an Extrude, okay? We want to try and revolve the shape around. So by pressing down the center line, we're going to tell the computer exactly where the axis of revolution is. It wants to know where the center is. So if I just press down the middle, it will instantly turn it into an egg shape. Once we've got it and we're happy with it, we can now press the green tick and we've got our final egg. The last thing we can do is add some texture. So if I'm over on the side here, I can select some material that we'd like to give it. Something that would make it look a little bit egg-like. I'm going to go for some sort of stone effect. <clears throat> go for some sort of paving, perhaps. I'll go for this concrete here. Might do. Let's go for that. Put it on here on the texture, and there's your finished 